Hey guys, this is the professor. Today we're out in the woods here on a fairly warm April day and we're going to uh, have lunch along the trail. Now, I had some questions here about uh, sometimes it's hard to get coals and today's one of those days. It's windy, uh, the wood that we have here is kind of wet and so we don't, we don't have a lot of good coals that we're forming. So today we're going to cook on plan B which is the uh, portable tripod. Now what we have here is this uh, folding tripod rig. It folds flat. You can uh, lash it down to your pack or onto the four-wheeler rack. It doesn't take up much space at all. But it unfolds and uh, it has this third rivet. The third rivet then comes over and hooks in this hole here, thus making a very solid uh, good tripod in a base on which to sit your skillet. Now, it's about six or seven inches tall, so what we'll do is we'll locate that in the fire, kind of at the edge, where there's some coals, but also some flames, kind of low flames in here. And if you don't have enough coals to uh, really fry on the low uh, trivet like we do in the fireplace, this will give us a lot of the same effect here, and we'll get things going for you in just a second. I'm going to be using the uh, GI mess kit today, and... Uh, of course, you can see this one's been in the fire a few times, kind of getting smoked up, but that just gives it character. First thing we want to do here is get on some water, and uh, what we'll do is boil that up a little bit. And once again here, if the fire uh, doesn't cooperate, what we'll do is just rake some uh, coals over underneath there, get some kindling wood on there, and that'll heat up pretty fast. Well, the water's about to boil here. Kind of a windy day, the wood's a little wet. Seems like everything's taking about twice as long as what it should. But uh, nevertheless, we're gonna have something to eat here anyway. Now today, what I've got is some real small little pasta shells. We're gonna get those in there and get those boiling up. This holds about a pint, so I'm gonna put in about half of that. And, uh, let that heat up a little bit. Another thing I've got today is a half cup of uh, freeze-dried hamburger gravel. So we're going to put that in there and kind of have a spaghetti, spaghetti and meat sauce meal today. No vegetable, so it's one of the 10,000 with, uh, with no vegetable content. Unless, of course, we want to count the tomato sauce. Now another thing today we have is a little can of tomato sauce, an 8 ounce can. Doesn't have a pop top so we're going to be using our little P38 military style can opener and uh, we'll get that opened up. Another thing we're going to use here today is a little bit of a spaghetti sauce mix. That'll give it some flavor and kind of thicken up the sauce for that. So let me get this can opened up and uh, we'll get this sauce going here right away. Okay, we noticed that the uh, water's taken up pretty much now by the uh, pasta, and uh, some of it, of course, is evaporated. Uh, a couple words here on uh, heat management. Now, when it's windy like this, 
and you're using small sticks for fuel, you got to stay right with it because if you uh, let that fire go down very much, you'll lose the boil. If you get too much heat under there, of course, you're going to scorch everything. So you've got to just add those few sticks uh, just a little bit before it needs it so that they have time to catch fire and to, uh, and to go ahead and provide the heat that you need to finish cooking. Uh, things are looking pretty good here. We still want to carry quite a bit of liquid in there once again. Uh, if we keep plenty of liquid in there, we're less likely to scorch things. Considering that the fire is up and down, we can't really predict when it's going to be at its hottest. If the wind blows a little bit, it fans it and makes it a lot hotter. We'll go ahead and get the sauce in now. we got our 8 ounce can of sauce opened up. So we'll go ahead and get that in. And also we got this spaghetti sauce mix. It's supposed to have some water with it. But uh, that sauce is kind of thin. And so we'll just add some in there, maybe about a third of the package, and kind of see what that looks like. We'll stir that up, and if it isn't thick enough, we'll add a little bit more. Uh, not too much to measure out here at the camp today. And uh, with the wind and the, uh, the amount of water and everything, it just is a kind of a guess. So we'll stir that in and show you what we got here in just a second. Well guys, the uh, sauce has thickened up real well here. All the macaroni has reconstituted. Well, it's had time to cook a little bit and get all the flavors to blend. So we're going to go ahead and plate some of this up for you now and have lunch out here along the trail today. So you can see here that uh, the sauce thickens up. If you just keep adding that sauce mix to it, it has kind of thickening in there. And it'll make a nice thick tomato based sauce. And uh, with the hamburger in there and the macaroni It'll make us a good meal here along the trail. So, as we eat lunch here, we'd just like to say thanks for joining us today. Be sure to uh, keep your comments coming, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing some of your recipes as uh, we make more and more of the 10,000 one-pot meals. This is The Professor, and I'll see you soon.